Dots 23 here in today's Knife Therapy. We have the traditional pocket knives, Ohio River Jack, single bladed edition. And right now, these are on sale for $116. Uh, for I think the next two days, depending on when you watch this. And I'm also working with them to try to get a discount code for y'all. So make sure to check down in the description for uh, any kind of discount code for these. They come in four different variations. You can get it in this particular one with the uh, natural canvas micarta covers. You can also get it in all tie, jig to tie that is, for $132. Or you can get it in green canvas micarta scales our covers are black canvas micarta covers let's get some quick specs out of the way you have a total length of 6.68 .6 inches so it's a nice medium size uh slip joint you have a blade length of 2.9 inches so it's going to be legal just about anywhere you have a grip area from here to here of 3.47 inches a uh, handle scale thickness of 0.48 inches a close width in the pocket from here to here of 1.15 inches and the blade stock thickness coming in at 0.118 inches. And the behind the edge thickness on my particular knife is around 15 to 17 thousandths behind the edge, sharpened at 17 degrees per side. And let's take a close look at this. You have a beautiful spear point blade with a nice satin finish on it, nice and even, of Bowler M390 stainless steel. You have a sharpening choil. It clears the plunge just barely. I uh, wish I would have maybe extended that a little bit more, give you a little bit more sharpening life before, before it starts to widen up in the back right there, but not something I'm really concerned about. I could fix that with a Dremel pretty easily. You have dual long pulls on each side of the blade uh, to help you pinch it open with the thumbnail, or I prefer to just pinch the blade. You have enough sticking up and you can pull it out rather easily that way. You do have a pretty robust tip there, and you have a full flat grind that comes down to a pretty thin edge, and the edge bevel is also thin, so this thing should perform outstanding. Why don't we find out? This one came very sharp out of box and it's an excellent, excellent blade shape. It's gonna do just about anything I throw at it very easily. And one thing that I, I, I could tell right off the back is that it was ground nice and thin and the edge bevel was also thin. I think it was at 17 degrees per side. I wish more companies, even your, your regular uh, locking pocket knives, I wish they would start following suit doing the same thing because they perform so much better. Um, and I can tell you, this thing's gonna be plenty of tough. If, if a slip joint could be a hard use knife, this would be it. Um, it feels really solid in the hand and man oh man, those handles are comfortable. Now we're gonna test the ergos and see how well that edge is still biting uh, into this pine two by four. And uh, I think because of the contoured scales and the, the extra width in this slip joint makes it so comfortable in hand. Absolutely no hot spots. I could have done this for days. It it was biting very well. I can make uh, fine curls. I could I could bite deep into it if I wanted to. Excellent, excellent job on the handle. You'll be able to make uh, powerful slicing motion cuts like this uh, rather easily because of that wider handle. And of course, because of that spear point blade, that, that lower uh, tip, the tip is a little bit under the pivot. It's gonna perform great on this flat cutting surface. You got a perfect amount of belly near that tip. Um, it's got a little bit extra meat toward the tip. I think it's around 17 thousandths. But man, oh man, is that edge still feeling good. Um, in the pinch grip, it was nice and comfortable, and um, I'm just I'm I'm thrilled so far uh, at this point in the testing on how well this knife is performing. <laughs> um, nothing it really struggled on. Uh, I, I have that nice belly for any of those uh, you know belly tasks where you're going to be slicing into something. It's blasting through all this uh, fibrous material rather easily and the edge still feels excellent. We will see if it has any bite to it left once we get to the sisal rope, but so far, absolutely loving it. And it definitely has bite because it's blasting through this denim.
After this first cut, I knew it, it still had a great edge. I'm trying to use mainly that belly portion just to see uh, how that performs. And of course, no shock, it's doing great. It's push cutting for the most part. And like I said, the edge is really doing well. This is a factory edge, you know, most factory edges don't don't do great on the sisal rope because they just don't have much bite to them. But this one still felt good. You have a wide blade there. I got a little bit extra um, momentum going down into the material I'm cutting. And I definitely felt like I could do this for a long, long time. But we're just gonna cut up the amount of rope I have and we'll see how many can cut. During this test, that 17 degree edge bevel makes the biggest difference in the world. Um, whenever there are anything over 20, it makes it rather difficult. But we end up getting through 50 cuts and I think that's great. Um, and it still feels good. We'll test the edge once I'm completely done, but I'm very, very satisfied. Knife was just an absolute pleasure to test. Absolutely. Man, this thing performed outstanding. Let's see how that edge is still going. Yeah, that's what I thought. Man, I mean, when I say great, it performed great and that edge is still wicked sharp. And that just goes to show you that those thinner edge bevels, they perform so much nicer. All right, now let's check out the walk and talk. It's got a good pull to it. I think it's around, I don't know, six and a half, seven. But let's listen to this. Nice positive click. Uh, flush in the half stop. Nice pop to it. Good and centered there. Uh, flush in the closed position. And of course, it's also flush in that open position as well. Nice positive click on that. Love it. All right, let's close it up and take a look at the handle area. You have a flush pivot on this side. It's a Torx T8 for the pivot. Uh, the cover screws are Torx T6, and this one body screw back here is also a Torx T6. Uh, they are nice and contoured on these scales, nice and softened. Really fills out the hand nicely, and they were very comfortable. This, uh, these natural micarta scales uh, covers right here had a good bit of texture to grip a horn to, and uh, they had that nice, you know, furriness to the canvas right there. It's very uh, comfortable feeling. You have a double-ended uh, titanium bolsters. It's pretty much a titanium frame that's been milled out for your uh, canvas micarta covers there. Nicely done, and they have been fluted on both sides. Very nice finishing work, especially at the price point. Everything is nice and flush, no high spots. Very nice, especially here as well. Yeah, for the price point, this one is amazing. Um, <laughs> the weight on it, pretty good. Let's check it out on the scale. First off, in grams, at 88.1 grams or 3.1 ounces, so not bad for, you know, as chunky of a knife as, as it is. Now for some quick size comparisons, we have the Victorinox Pioneer X and the Victorinox Cadet. It's right in the middle of those two, closer to the Pioneer X. Next up, we have the Benchmade Proper and the QSP Hedgehog. It's very similar to these two in feel and in overall size. And lastly, we have the Jack Wolf Knives K9 Jack and the Lion Steel Roundhead. Uh, these are also excellent size references. All right, now for my nitpicks and complaints. Uh, at the price point, these are very minor. Um, like I said, maybe extend this a little bit more, just give you a little bit more sharpening life just so it doesn't widen up immediately. Something I can easily fix with a Dremel. Just got to be careful. You don't want to hit that kick right there. Um, and the only other thing that kind of throws my OCD tendencies off is the the screw like all these screws are nice and lined up and then this one comes up there and i know why they did it to give this backspacers you know some more strength there but it'd been nice if they could have maybe put a pin there instead of putting that screw but overall you know i think this is an outstanding outstanding slip joint if you want a slip joint as a heavy user you know, something that is going to be a handle, you know, pretty much anything you throw at it. You know, of course, you got to be careful. It's a slip joint. But this one, you know, has got a nice positive uh, push there. So you're not going to have to worry about it closing on your hands easily or anything. 
And uh, if you want one that's going to be nice and slicey and uh, great blade shape, handle just about anything nice and comfortable in the hand, I would definitely pick one of these up. I have been really, really enjoying this one. It's been living in one of my slips uh, along with a multi-tool and yeah, it's been great. So there you go. <laughs> that is a traditional pocket knives, Ohio River Jack. I'd love to hear y'all thoughts, opinions on it. You know, something that I noticed <laughs> right at the back is that this right here was exactly what I'd always wished the proper was. This one blows the proper away, in my opinion, as far as performance goes and comfort and all that as well. So awesome job there. Uh, I'm sure this won't be my last to check out from him. And uh, yeah, like I said, make sure to check down below to see if I have gotten the uh, discount code. I will have it in the uh, description. All right, guys and girls, I hope everybody's having an awesome day. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, like I said, please leave them down below. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.